In this video, we will discuss genus Hemanchus. The species of the genus Hemanchus are Hemanchus concordus, Hemanchus dubalis, and Hemanchus plesi. Hemanchus concordus is the commonest and most pathogenic species of the sheep. And their host range such as sheep, goat, and cattle and buffalo can also act as the host for these species of the genus Hemanchus, which include Hemanchus concartus, Hemanchus dubalis, and Hemanchus plesi. And they are commonly called as large stomach worm, wire worm, twisted worm, and barber's fall worm. And the male and female uh, species of these Hemanchus are generally characterized based on their specific features such as in case of female the white ovaries are coiled around the blood filled red intestine and the valvular flap is knob like structure in the posterior end of the body of the female worm and the buccal cavity is shallow and in case of male bursa there is the dorsal rays are inverted y shaped structure the dorsal rays are in the shape of inverted Y. And their predilection site is the abomasum. And life cycle is direct. There is no involvement of any migration. Eggs are avoided in the feces. Those hatch to liberate L1, L2 and L3 larva. L3 larva is the infective stage of the larva. It will penetrate the abomasal layer. And uh, during the penetration, L4 will mount to produce L5 and uh, inside the lumen, L5 will mature to lay or start laying eggs. And the pre-patent period for these uh, Hemonchus species are around 15 days. The pathogenesis involves the voracious blood suckers. And blood sucking activity is done by the adult male and female and also the L4 staged larva. And they can suck around 0.05 ml blood per parasite per day. And they will damage the abomasal mucosa which leads to anemia, hypoproteinemia, edema and emaciation and also digestive disturbance. Clinically, there are Three forms of hemonchosis which involves hyperacute, acute and chronic. In case of hyperacute case, there is sudden death which is rare condition in which uh, there is a sudden mass infection will be there. Because of this, there is the sudden death will be noticed. And in case of acute uh, death before the pre-patent period, and in case of chronic, there is emaciation, anemia and hyperplastic gastritis will be there. And in case of chronic uh, form, there is 100% morbidity will be there but low mortality as compared to the hyperacute or acute. And postmortem lesions such as blood will be watery and the mucous membrane, organs and skin become the fail in color. And the abomasum is reddish brown, fluid filled uh, worms were uh, swimming inside the uh, reddish brown fluid in the abomasum. The liver become the light brown in color and fatty changes will be noticed and the, it can be diagnosed by uh, using clinical signs and also fecal examination for the eggs. Thank you.